Welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. How was that? Okay, good. <clears throat> well done. As a heads up, the following test chambers may not include pre-recorded messages like these in order to measure how test subjects behave in environments lacking human contact. Good luck. We done? Oh, hey, what's happening here? Where am I? The, who are you? What's going on here? Where are my hands? No, this can't be possible, can it? We don't have to go through there, do we? I completely understand if you would rather find another way if you're scared of the dark. No shame in that. Oh, it worked. That's crazy! Wandering through the office after working hours with a stranger and nothing more than a flashlight. Listen, I'm sorry for... Oh, I'm so sorry. My bad. I didn't mean to overexpose your eyes. Woo! I don't really know where we're going now. Can I ask you something real quick? Design team did a good job. Engineering too. Very slim fit. Oh, a rail! We found one! Thank you, test subject. I hope I don't intrude if I join you for a bit while I try to get a sense of what happened to me, the facility, and you. Hello! I'm back. I know it's not been long. Just wanted to be polite. Just remembered that I never asked what you're doing here. Ah, yes! The boring presentation room! You reckon I could find a humanoid android body somewhere around here? Forgot what it feels like to have hands. No hands, only handles. Can't stop thinking about the android body. I wonder if they finished developing those. What was... Did you see that? Here we've got ourselves the... <clears throat> Aperture Science Non-Local Matter Displacement Device. <laughs> Quite a mouthful, I know. Well, I've still not seen it with my eyes. Unless digital cameras count. Whoa! That was close! How did they figure out how to fit all that? Well done, test subject. No. Turn you it have off. just completed I another they threw test. Away. Congratulations on contributing once again to the future of Why is it science. So loud? Feel welcome Turn to pause off. at Turn any off. moment. There's cake and beverages turn in the break room. Off. Looks like I turned myself off. That was so long ago. I don't know if this is supposed to be a test chamber. If it is, our chamber budget has officially hit a new low. Hey, hey, I need you to carry me up the elevator. We've done this before, so be ready to catch me. Quite cozy. I'm sure we can stuff ourselves in there. Oh, I found you! Who's that now? I was placed and suffocated on a wall, so... Nice. Not to continue our mission, you so rudely interrupted. What mission? Oh, who's your little sidekick? Cute. Whoa. And that is why you gotta switch your capacitors. So that's the sort of guys you normally hang out with. Oh, I shouldn't have looked. Solid ground at last. I don't blame you for helping him. I just... I just wish I could go back, you know, and amend both mistakes. Finally found you again. I've got some news. Let's meet after this elevator. I'll prepare an escape route for you that will take us straight to the spire. Meet you there. So, I have decided. You betrayed me. Twice. So I'm just going to... kill you. Now! Now you might be thinking, but Sterling, Sterling, my dear, how am I going to die? And the answer will be very Hello? simple. I will use this teleporter, the very one which you activated, to teleport you someplace which will lead to your immediate demise. Now I realize I didn't quite answer the question, but that's because I will let you decide. I have a few options here, quite gracious of me, isn't it? Letting you choose. Kind of makes the death voluntary, doesn't it? Like a suicide. Hello? Okay, so here are the options. Option one, suffocation by solid rock. You will be teleported into a rock, fully surrounded with no way of moving or escaping. 
I'll have to see if the air inside you gets teleported along, because if not, even your insides will be rock, which feels very gruesome. So, starting off with a very gruesome one, which might not be the most painless option, but we have two more coming right Is up. Is ever going to shut up? Option two, starvation and or dehydration by outer space planet. With this one, I will teleport you outside our galaxy to some habitable planet with proper atmosphere, temperature, ozone layer, and all that stuff that you humans love so much. You'll have time to explore a foreign planet, but will eventually die from starvation. Oh, Even if you manage to survive, you'll be far enough away from me to not be a problem. Quite an honorary death, I think. First person to visit a planet in a different galaxy. It's also the only option which doesn't kill you instantly. So if you want some time to rethink your mistakes, I pick if this one. Do it, just now the third do it. option is a bit of a combination between the two, at least thematically. Option three, instant death by singularity. This one seems quite straightforward. I teleport you near the event horizon of a black hole. Gotta be honest, this is the most interesting option by far in my opinion. I always wanted to explore the possibilities of using a black hole as a landfill. Even pitched it. They told me to clean the toilets instead. Can't tell you how painful that one's gonna be though. Those things are on the limit of our understanding. So, what do you say? I'm going to give you 10 seconds to think. 20, you want to give me 20, 20, 24, 25, like right mm -hmm. go around. Mm -hmm. Wait, did he say his name was Sterling? Hey, come back. I, I can't see you. I built a vacuum cleaner once. Called the little guy Sterling? Huh. Ta-da! Spire. Hey, over here. Come and grab me. You ready for this? Welcome, ladies. Welcome. Any last words? Yeah, I have some. Is it possible that you were once a vacuum cleaner? Um, how, how do you know that? <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, they grow up so fast. It's not polite to murder your mother. I can't believe my Roomba is trying to kill us. Thought you could just press a button to stop me? You mean this button? What button? Big and red, right in front of us. That's not a button. I ignore it. Don't look at it. What happens if we press it? Nothing. Don't press the button. It's really boring, believe me. I say we press it. Don't press it! All right. I say we give that button a little push while I explore this magnificent vent. That's one satisfying button. Hi! Whoa! This is wobblier than I thought. You look ridiculous. Seems about adequate considering I'm fighting my own vacuum cleaner. Good, good, good. Now, inside. Come on, hurry. Think you can get over somehow? We don't talk anymore. We don't talk. So, here you are. You're just back now. Where have you been? What are you talking about? I didn't see you again after you upgraded my chassis. We used to do everything together. Do everything together? You are a vacuum cleaner. You cleaned up for us. Don't even ask me why we gave him consciousness. He didn't even say goodbye. Are you having abandonment issues right now? Is that seriously what's happening? I built a vacuum cleaner with abandonment issues. You must have brain damage! Why else would you do this to me? Ah, don't listen to him! Kind of slept for that long, right? Right? Oh, maybe that's why you don't talk. Come on, final button. You're right, though. It is quite pathetic that a button pusher is your arch nemesis. No offense to you, test subject. Just the reality of the situation. Uh... Oh my- no! Hi! Hello! Uh... Oh, I didn't think you ever told me your name, did you? I'm sorry. Okay. I guess this is goodbye. For now. Just for now. Take care.